is Hugo Mag Maginyes. Maginyes? <sighs> All right, I'm going to work on that. Um, Hugo <laughs> works as a technical coordinator for research and development at Europeana. Um, I'm very excited to have him here talking about intifying Europeana, building an ecosystem of networked references for cultural objects. Hi everyone, I'm Hugo Maginius. Um, I'll be speaking, I come from Europeana Foundation, I'll be speaking about uh, the work we've, that we've been doing uh, with regards to entities. Uh, for a long time we, we have gathering a lot of information uh, about these entities and we never had like a real strategy to deal with it and actually make use of them. So that's what I've been, uh, I'll be uh, speaking today. Um, for those of you that that don't know, but I guess most of you do actually know. Uh, Europeana is a platform for Europe's digital cultural heritage, even though we speak of ourselves as a, uh, normally as, a, as the portal, and the portal is the, the one that most of the, the persons are used to. We like to think of as ourselves as, as a platform uh, much more than the portal. Uh, we aggregate uh, metadata from around uh, all um, EU countries, uh, 35 100 galleries, libraries, archives, and museums, more than 53 million objects so far, and in about 15 languages. Um, uh, as part of this data, there is a huge amount of, of references to, to places, agents, concepts, and time spans. Uh, and uh, this is what I'll be speaking about uh, today, which we'll normally call as contextual entities. Um, so for a long time, European has been um, committing his effort on a, on a linked data. So the, here I will speak about uh, some of the, the, um, the efforts that, and lines of work that have been working on. Uh, one of them is the EDM, as all of you know, as the base of our, our linked data. Um, another thing is the, the enrichment that we do, uh, linking the source data uh, to reference data. Um, another is that we encourage data providers to actually submit the, the information they have about contextual entities so that uh, we actually can uh, um, improve, well, benefit from the information that they can give us. Um, and also uh, encourage uh, activities for making the alignment between uh, local vocabularies and manic vocabularies and spine vocabularies so that we can even more um, in, uh, take advantage of this information. And well, some of these, these, these lines of work we have uh, already presented in SWEEP in other in past conferences. Um, so as I spoke before, we're now looking actually to uh, having building a, or thinking in a strategy for, for dealing with, with entities as a cornerstone for, for this strategy is something that we called uh, entity collection, which is uh, so an easy way to, to express it that is that uh, it's a database, but it's much more than a database. Um, it's actually um, a service that gathers all the information that we have for, for entities. Uh, until now, all the information that we had was actually scattered around in several places. So we had the, the Richmond database, which has some external, uh, um, which has information from external sources. We have the information in our collection. Uh, with, which is the, the, the data that the providers give us. And all of this was, was scattered, and now we're starting to have a, um, a place where we can uh, actually gather all this, this information, store it, and make it accessible. Um, the idea is that we cache and create data as well, or as it, at least we hope to create this, this data as well, so it makes smaller corrections. Uh, and um, <coughs> this, this, uh, this caching and, and um, gathering is, then, is done from link open data uh, cloud. Um, it's a sort of knowledge graph for, for, for entities and uh, objects. So our main motivation is to improve user experience, so uh, support better ways for searching, navigating through the content, eliminating uh, ambiguity when, when you have uh, um, a name of the person, and you can actually see which person person that is, and and actually uh, uh, see what 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 information we have about that entity, and adapt as well because uh, considering that a lot of these descriptions have labels in several languages, we can also adapt the portal to adjust to the language that the user is more more uh, used to 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 reading. Um, 
And we can do this by <coughs> sorry, uh, improving the interlinking of, of data. So this brings more context to objects, alleviates the policy issues, uh, expands language coverage that I spoke already, and also try to make our contribution to the web of data as well. Um, so some of the use cases I'll speak about that we have considering so far. So one is the, for the providers, looking at the provider side, to have a, a vocabulary where they can um, use to uh, uh, identify their own uh, name uh, references to, to entities. So uh, and also, uh, for example, link to to our to our data as well. Um, another thing is crowdsourcing, which is actually presented um, last year uh, at SWIB which is the work on, on annotations where we can actually uh, open to the to the um, to all users to annotate the records and to contribute to a better description of of the data and this the, the hope is that uh, the the users can pick entities from this uh, uh, entity collection and actually use those ones instead of others and use uh, uh, actual entities and not just uh, keywords or names uh, another thing is the, the European Collections Portal, which I already spoke about in the previous slide. And the last thing is also the publication and reuse for other um, projects and uh, that can make use of, our, of the information that we, that we can hold. Uh, and all of this is, is uh, powered by the Entity Collection, uh, or at least we, we envision to it to be powered. By, by that. Um, so here I, I, I want to, ex to just show um, a couple of things that we have in our roadmap and we're going to, to implement. So one of them is the, the, the annotation side. This is just an initial mock-up. I'll actually show a bit more about this in, at the end. <clears throat> so the idea is that I can, uh, using in, in the portal, type in a keyword and while I'm typing in, I can just have a, a list of the entities that are um, that are in the entity collection, and actually um, this list can be, since we have this, this information in the entity collection and they have the links from the data to this entity collection, we can also uh, rank it based on the number of items we have that link to this entity. So this can also make, uh, make it easier surfacing the, the most relevant ones to the top and less relevant ones to the bottom. Uh, this is also one advantage of having it uh, within uh, our our data. Uh, another thing is the, the, the annotations, which, uh, for example, I'm showing here Pandit annotation client. The idea is that they, they, so for example, here is one of the functions where they are annotating the metadata, and they, for example, can pull in. Here you can see several ones, DBP is one of them. But there is also Europeana, so they can click and then see and pick the, the, the entities that they want uh, the user to annotate or the user wants to annotate uh, the, the record. And this can be done at the provider side. Um, another thing is, and this is an example from Food and Drink project, for example, is to power the, the entity facets. So instead of having a facets that are automatically built, we can create our own facets based on the entity collection. Uh, and last thing is the entity pages. Actually, this one was stolen by, from, from Google, but our idea is that we'll have a similar uh, page where we gather all the information, also showcase the objects that are, very, are more relevant for that entity, also take advantage of the family relations, for example, that we can get from Wikidata, and all these kind of web of data take advantage in a page where it showcase it all. Uh, so this is also in our roadmap. So um, I'll speak now uh, about how we choose our vocabularies. This was presented again last last uh, last year, and uh, and we defined a set of criteria to um, to to choose um, the, the 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 vocabularies, and this was uh, uh, defined within the the European Task Force on Enrichment and Evaluation. So this is a list of of um, not go through all of them. But I'll just uh, highlight the multilinguality, which for us is very important, because uh, we have a portal and we need to, to support, at, at least our, our, our ambition is to support 50 languages. Uh, one of them is also the, the open license, which is very important for us. Uh, and all the other aspects about technical availability and also the, the representation, the, the quality of the representation of the data. The other ones are less important in a way, uh, but still important. So, um, starting by what we had done until now, so 
we have, uh, um, for each of the four uh, kinds of entities, we have gathered from different sources. These are the ones, that, for historical reasons, coming from the semantic enrichment work, uh, which will now move on to having to the entity collection, and we will now start to expand it to cover uh, other vocabularies. So, for example, for places, we chose uh, geonames, natural choice. Uh, we chose also uh, some specific types because we don't want to have, want to have all the, the geonames in. Uh, we, we select uh, the places, some administrative regions, island, islands, and other feature, feature types. Um, we gather around to, and all of this uh, for um, European countries only. Uh, for agents, we chose the Wikipedia. Uh, we, we select them by the DBpedia uh, artists. We also filter a lot of the, the artists because we recognize that there is actually a lot of artists that, at least for, for European, we would not have, would not hold any, any information for them. So they have a lot of rap artists and all sorts of people that you can, can think of. So we have some filters that go through the, so see some patterns in the data in the descriptions and filter them out so that we are left with the ones that we feel that we probably will have content about them. Uh, we also uh, don't look only to the DBpedia, the English DBpedia. We collect the dumps from, from the 45 language editions that match the 50 languages, one is missing, from, from the ones that we support. So we, we, we gather all of them, select the, the data sets in, in specific, and then uh, convert and normalize into all the, 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 the ingestion and the importing side. Um, in terms of concepts, we handpicked a couple of concepts. The concepts that we pick are actually uh, dictated by the needs of the European collections, the collections portal. So now we have the music, music collection and art and history collections. Those will dictate more uh, concepts that will, and, and also concept schemes that we'll bring in. Uh, which will be identified by this, this, these collections. Um, so these um, are the ones that are expected to actually uh, expand uh, in a very short time. Uh, and also time spans, which we use simium time, which was, um, with a, with was a, a vocabulary that was initially not developed by us, but then went within European and then we took it on. It mostly has chronological uh, periods, but we're also looking at period though, for example, for historical periods. So, and this is just 35, around 3,500 uh, chronological periods. Was it basically like 19th century, 18th century, first quarter of the 18th century, things like that, and then the dates. Um, so here is, for example, looking at the entity collection and uh, in, in red, you can see all the, the entities that are in the, the entity collection divided by language. So, we, they are con so the, the existence of a language description uh, for that entity. And then you can see in, in blue the ones that are actually used. Uh, so you see, of course, the English is the one in the, with the, the, the most. It's normal because DBP, the English DBP is much more uh, um, wider than, than the others. You still have some that are quite well represented, but we still have uh, entities described in almost all the, the, the languages that we, that we support. Um, we also see the difference between the entities present in the, in the entity collection and the ones that are eff effectively used. This is because the, the, um, the enrichment, uh, it may, may happen because the enrichment simply didn't pick out that, that, that entity which is natural, also our enrichment is not that good. We hope to improve it in, in, um, in, the, in a short time. Um, but also we want to have a bit of a buffer to cope with entities that we still, with it, that we don't have any objects for them, but we may have, may uh, eventually in the future have objects for them. So we may still need to have the ability for the, for example, the annotations or the enrichments to have those in the collection so that they can actually be picked. Um, so, are these target vocabularies enough? 
they are not for several, several reasons. One of them is that they don't have uh, cross-reference information to other vocabularies, especially the, the, the domain in local vocabularies that we, that we, we have and, and that we have coming in from the data providers and the aggregators. So for example, one of them is MIMO, the musical instruments vocabulary used for, for example, in the sounds project. So another thing is labels and values are not always accurate and normalized. So if you see DBpedia, DBpedia uh, Wikidata is a bit better, but DBpedia is really amazing. So for, if you look at the, at the dates, it's, just, it's very creative to the form that they represent dates. So it's, uh, we need actually to have a better representation for this, why F can be a good option. Uh, we're missing relevant information like roles and professions, at least in a very uh, normalized way because they are described in a very arbitrary way. And we need to expand to coverage, uh, to, to coverage also other types of entities, so uh, works and events, which we don't, don't support so far. Um, so we are investigating uh, strategies for integrating new vocabularies that can improve the, the descriptions and multilinguality coverage so that, uh, that actually the, that, that distribution, the, the red, red part becomes, the blue part becomes a bit higher and most, more evenly distributed also linking between uh, entities, also in integrating alignments coming from other, uh, from alignment efforts that typically you've done outside the entity collection, but you can bring them in as co-reference information. Uh, support manual correction as well, so that, for example, at the beginning we, we expect only to have minor uh, uh, fixes, but at the end ultimately you could, you could support also for the providers to go there and actually change the, the descriptions if they, if they want or they are willing to. Uh, another thing is also to keep up to date the information, both the, the information that we're getting through the external together with the ones that we create with, without losing any, any information, so we're looking at strategies to actually deal with this. Um, so, for, so far we, we have done already, the, we minted uh, European ORIs for all the entities that we, are, we were using for enrichment and we updated also with the mass re-index of all the our, our um, collection, and we are now pointing to European entities. We also developed the, the entity API, which is now in alpha version. I'll show a bit more about that. Start to make use it in, in the, um, of the API in the collections portal. Initially, with the, the entity suggest, when you can type in and see the entities and then fire a query that will use the where I and not the, the, the labels and also implement the support for, for new vocabularies and entity types. Uh, so we see this is uh, the, the, the API that we have uh, now. Uh, so for now it supports the entity retrieval, so get information, the descriptive information for the entity, and also the suggest call, um, where you can type in, and I'll show a bit about that. And you have also more methods that will be implemented for creation, update, and delete, and also for where I resolution. So if I uh, ask the API for, a, uh, with the DBP, the where I, I'll get back the, the where I of, of Europeana, for example. Here is an, an example of um, an output of our API for a, um, a resource coming from DBpedia, but for which we minted a, a European where I. So here you see, for example, the labels in 48 languages, you see, Interlinking information that we hope also to point to European entities. Also, it's a bit cumbersome, but for example, you see the place of birth. Ideally, it should be only Salzburg, not Austria, because you can get that information uh, through uh, for just referencing that, that entity that is, it will be sufficient in less purpose. And this can make some issues with, uh, with sending if it's actually wrong wrong or duplicate place or whatever. Uh, and also co-reference links to six other data sets. Actually, the links here I don't show, but you have for Freebase Wikidata and all the lists that we get from DPpedia. So here is the suggest call. So uh, all suggest call is, is based on, on language. So we have an index for each language. So here, for example, is a um, search with starting with Neo and you see all the entity types. The mock-up here actually will not be the one that we'll use. We'll make some effort to make it better. The icons here actually is just to understand where the information lies. We will not use these icons. Um, but uh, just for now, just a testing. And uh, once the user experience will, 
will uh, designer will, will will work on it will be changed to a more production ready uh, version. So you can see in the right also the what is output. We use LDP, use some of some of the things from LDP, and then also you can see how the, the the entities are ranked. By the way, for ranking, we use two things. One is the the how 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 so how, how many objects are linking to that entity, but also we take uh, um, in the Wikipedia uh, click-throughs. Uh, so we take that information, we, we we measure, we weight the two, and then we we rank the the entity. So taking in consideration the two uh, dimensions besides the the, the texts, what is given by Solar with the text uh, uh, matching. So. Concluding the, the presentation, so we started, uh, well, uh, a strategy for entities, we, we were missing this, and this is really a must for, for Europeana. Uh, there is no one fits all vocabulary. You will need to look in many vocabularies, not just Wikidata, not just YF, other vocabularies, um, and we still have a, lot, a, long, a long way to, uh, to go. Um, but hopefully we, we are making progress and we also take on a lot of things that we hope will be developed uh, in other projects. Yeah. Yep, that's, that's it. Uh, we have time for a, a, a couple quick questions or one question before we break for lunch. Does anyone have a question? Thank you. It's exciting to see uh, work on uh, creating, you know, like entity database that you can refer to from European projects and from elsewhere. Um, I wanted to ask, uh, well, uh, one short comment that uh, in, say, annotating uh, uh, textual information with mentions of entities uh, at the National Library of Latvia, we also so the same need for entity database, which to refer to. Uh, and um, uh, a question to you, uh, is this uh, database also available in other forms, like say, if I wanted to explore it, um, what is inside it, is there a data dump available, you know, something we can play with? Um, at, at the moment, we only have these two methods. Um, we could make available the data that we have, but um, actually, the data that we have so far is also not that, uh, not well. It's, uh, it's mostly mostly we are harvesting from other sources, so we for now we are not improving it. So it may be in in, in the future a good, perhaps a good resource for for you. But we can make available as as dumps, and that's the we can could do that if you if you're interested. But for now, we, we, we just looked at these two methods. We will have methods as well for general search and also for, for uh, uh, going through all the collection. Uh, but those will, will come later and generate them as well. But not, not at this moment. All right. Well, thank you very much for this presentation. We'll give them another round of applause.